Good morning gang, this is Reagan Boggs and I wanted to do a quick video today to talk about something that I think is more of a cause of not being happy or feeling at peace than anything that we may deal with in our lives. And there is a lot of pressure these days. You're seeing all these articles on Facebook about be happy, be happy, be happy, be happy. And we always feel this pressure that we we need to be happy and why aren't we happy and everybody else seems to be happy and there is um, in my coach training we went through there he uh, Bruce Schneider is the he, he kind of built what IPEC has kind of based their curriculum on and part of that are the seven levels of energy and first level is victim energy when you always feel like you don't have choices, that things are being done to you that are beyond your control. You can't really see a future. You can't really see a way out. You feel very small. Your options seem very limited. And how much you're able to see beyond where you are at that moment is very hard. It's like being in a basement with no windows. You can't really see. Level two energy, once you move up to level two, you start feeling more aggressive. You start feeling more anger. It motivates you to do things, but you're kind of doing them in a, in a way where it's, you know, I win, you lose. That is, that's kind of the definition in that category is there's scarcity around this. Like if you succeed, then I can't because there's only so much success to go around in the world. Managers who kind of manage from this are managing more out of fear and kind of a, a dictatorship in a way. But then there is this other energy called level three. And I think level three is a very dangerous level of energy. While none of them are either bad or good, they'll tell you that in the training. Um, level three has its purpose. Level three is the, the level of making lemonade out of lemons. You're coping, you're dealing with situations that aren't ideal, and you can rationalize those. You may begrudgingly rationalize those, and you may be holding in a lot of resentment because you're having to. And this one, my friends, is where we stay at a lot. It is, you're putting up with all kinds of stuff. And you can justify it all because either you can kind of relate to the person that may be putting you in this situation, or you, you can rationalize, well, I need this job, so I'm just going to have to make the best of this. I'm in this relationship. It's not ideal, but it's not horrible either, so I can make this work. It is, we're constantly taking situations and, you know, especially if you've ever been through a trauma background, which a lot of my clients are, and we talked about in the video before, a lot of things look really good when you've dealt with a past that's not so great. So I just want to caution you. I would, I'm going to give you guys some homework. I want you to make a list of all of the things that you feel like that you are tolerating right now, that you are rationalizing. And I want you to kind of rate those things from a scale of one to five, five being worse, one being, oh, it's not too bad, of how much impact that's having on you as a stress level. Because you, once you see a list of all the things that you're dealing with and that you're rationalizing, it can get pretty long. And, you know, if you're talking about happiness, I think at this point, when you're when you're coping and rationalizing so much, um, there's this inner angst that you don't even realize is there. This inner, uh, and it, it's not that you want to be happy at this point. I think first you got to get to where you're feeling more at peace within inside your your chest because this is where the knots form when you're doing so much coping. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and please respond down below and let me know if this exercise had any impact on you at all. But thank you so much.